guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tracy and for today's video we're making a stunning card using lots of embossing and using an embossing folder called cobwebs 3d it's in the new mini catalog let's get started <music> The supplies I'm using for today's card can be seen on the screen. Head over to my blog for all the measurements for today's card. This is the card that I created earlier. We're going to create something a little bit different with this card. So the card base is basic black. It's half a piece of A4. I'm just scoring it in half. The matting is also basic black. And we have a strip of basic black for the sentiment. This is the Cobwebs 3D embossing folder. Now on the sample card that I have there in front of you, I actually inked up with the Versamark ink on the stamping up side of the embossing folder. This one I'm actually doing the opposite side. So we're going to get the complete opposite um, embossed image this time around. So I'm going to run it through the big shot. And you can see once it's come through that... Um, it is a more detailed version of the embossing folder. So I've taken that out. I'm going to bring some silver embossing powder because we're um, embossing with silver. Um, it really stands out on the basic black cardstock. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, yep, see nice and um, detailed image on this card. So I'm going to bring the heat tool in. We're going to um, heat that up once it goes clear, which you'll see really quickly to come through. So if you need any of the supplies I'm using for today's card or um, you want to create something else, you can purchase your supplies through my online store. Use the hostess code for this month and I'll not only send you a handmade card, you'll also get a bundle tutorial and you can also earn yourself some inky rewards. So a really great idea for shopping through me. So on that strip of basic black, I'm just going to heat emboss using the Versamark ink. On my sample you can see I heat embossed with the white because there was so much silver um, you needed something that was a little bit would stand out a little bit more. Because the detailed one that we're creating right now is a lot less silver I've actually embossed in the silver embossing powder. This is the glittered organdy ribbon and I'm doing the cheaters method by um, just measuring across the card front and using some tear and tape to secure it to the back of the matting. I'm also going to bring a glue dot in just to secure that ribbon down. Now it's I'm securing it down where boo sentiment's going to go. So that was a, just a strip of um, scrap card that I had. So I'm just using my larger, longer handled scissors to um, cut that down. So here's the glue dot here. This just secures the ribbon down in place and I'm going to pop up the sentiment with some dimensionals. Super quick card and yeah, as you can see, two absolutely different effects just by inking up with the Versamark on opposite sides of the embossing folder. So I've used, because it's embossed, we really need some strong adhesive so I've used tear and tape and there is our card. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's cards. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer, the one that is fully embossed and then the other side that is a little less embossed. Um, I'll be back with another video very soon, so hopefully you can join me for that one. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.